We've got the V now out. It's a Friday afternoon, everyone. It's five o'clock somewhere. Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you have never been here before, my name is Emma Tamsin Hill. And today we're doing something cute and the sun has actually come out for the first time in weeks to film this haul, so it's kind of fitting. Today we are gonna be hauling summer dresses. <laughs> Cute. So I just thought, since the weather's getting a bit warmer, I mean, not like we're all going anywhere, but I thought I'd show you some cute summer dresses today. I do want to address the situation that we are all living in right now. Obviously, I haven't put up a video in a few weeks. I hope you have all, especially my white followers, any white people watching this in general, I hope you've all been doing some research on Black Lives Matter, the protests that have been going on in America, the police brutality that has been happening in America and across the world for a very long time, and the mistreatment of black people. I really hope that you've all been signing petitions and donating money if you can. I know there's a YouTube video somewhere where all the proceeds are going to Black Lives Matter charities. I'll put all links down below in the description box. Also on my Instagram, I do have some reading on there, some highlights. I also have been doing a load of black owned business shout outs on my Instagram. So if you wanna buy from black owned businesses, head over to my Instagram and have a look on the highlights. Yeah, and uh, as well to like all my black followers out there, I really hope you're all doing well and you know, preserving your mental health in this time because I know social media has been a lot, not even just to my black followers, to all my followers in general or anyone watching this. I know it's been a bit of a heavy time on social media right now. And it is horrible, like seeing people being mistreated and, and seeing the horrible things that are happening. Um, it's not great, but it's something that we all need to look at and see that's happening so we can educate ourselves further and be better moving forward. So I hope that you're all doing well. And today we're gonna do something a little bit lighthearted, a little bit fun and hopefully can make you smile. But before we get into all that, Today we have a sponsor, shout out to the sponsor. So today's video is sponsored by Shop Tagger. You guys, if you've watched me for a long time, you know I've worked with them for a very long time and I'm gonna tell you what they are right now. So Shop Tagger is an app that helps you shop smart. So whilst you're doing your online shopping and stuff, Shop Tagger is gonna help you. So it's an add-on to your browser and also an app on your phone and you can basically save things into lists. I have various different lists of like homewares, shoes I wanna buy, trainers, if I'm going like on holiday and stuff, I'll make a whole list dedicated to holiday stuff, put it all in there. So while I'm just shopping online, I can sort of save them. Instead of putting it on a wish list, you put it all on ShopTagger and it can all be in one place. And ShopTagger informs you when something has come back in stock in your size or if something has gone on to sale, which I love. So it's just a little pop-up on the side of your web page when you're shopping and you can save things onto that. And also they have this amazing thing where when you're checking out on certain websites, a little thing pops into the screen and says check for coupons and it will try a bunch of different coupons and try and get you money off your order. I love that because I've saved like so much unexpected money just from this little add-on to my browser. What happened to my voice then? Honestly, on some orders I've saved like 60 pounds. It's crazy. Even just a little 10 pound here and there, it all makes a difference. So thank you at ShopTagger for that. It's super easy to download and I've put the link down in my description box so you can download it there. It's free as well, nothing, no hidden payments, nothing. It literally just helps you save money and it's free, okay? So click the link down there if you wanna download it. Thank you to ShopTagger for sponsoring this video. And I guess let's get right into the clothes. Okay, so I'm sorry if the lighting just changed. I just went to eat my dinner real quick. So now I'm with food baby. <laughs> This is the first dress and this is actually from PLT. So it's actually a maxi dress like all the way to the floor. And it's just a basic black maxi dress. I feel like everyone needs a maxi dress in their wardrobe. I don't have that many maxi dresses. They're not my kind of vibe, but this is very comfy. Just like a really nice soft um, jersey material. It's not too see-through, anything like that. This is the back. Um, I got it in 24. So I guess it's like kind of more comfy and slouchy. If you wanted it tighter, you might want to size down. It's hitting me right on my ankle. And we all know I'm tall. So it might be quite long for some of you shorter girls. You might want to like hem it up a bit and like sew it. But I really like the thick, chunky neckline. High at the back. I kind of wish it had a low back because I think there's nothing cuter on like a nice like long dress that's covering your whole body with like a nice scoop at the back. I just feel like showing a little bit of back is sexy. I don't know. But this is this. 
it's cute okay this is the next dress and as you can tell it's very short i love the tie-dye print of it and like the mauve purpley color and like the little ruffle but it's just too short on me personally so i would have to wear i don't know because i don't think cycling shorts would look right under this um so i'll probably just send this back but i love I love the style, just not the length on me. If you were shorter, you could probably get away with this. It's a really nice, like, cotton, soft fabric, but it's too damn short. I'm gonna be showing my butt cheeks to the world. I really like this, and I've been looking at it on the website for a while, but I do think it's gonna be too short. Let's find out. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Give me vibe, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. I think this is so cute. Again, it is just a little bit too short. I don't think I would be comfy like going outside in this. Just because it has this little slit right here. It, at the back, it is long enough. Like if we look at the back, that is a decent length. You know, I'm not going to be flashing anyone at the park. It is kind of like if you sat down because it is quite um, the t like a tight material. So if you sat down, you probably would flash everyone. So you might need like a little booty short under this or a cycling short or something like that. But the color and the print, and I love the neckline. Like I think a square neckline is just so pretty. It gives me milkmaid vibes. The ruching on the boob area. And then these are all like just strings that you tie into bows yourself. So I've tied them into three little bows. It's cute. I think red looks good on my um, skin tone as well. So it's making it pop. And it just has these little flowers all over. I'm gonna show you the print close up how cute is that the back also has the square neckline i like it but it is that kind of material that it has stretch on the boob and like obviously stretch here but this area is not gonna stretch so you're gonna want to make sure that you've got your size properly and like not the size you would wear in stretch you know i've got 24. so yeah mm i don't know about this one so oh no look at my poor little tummy <laughs> little <laughs> this is the next one and it's just like a satin maxi dress if you look closely it has a print on it that it's like marbled you might not be able to tell because it's so shiny but yeah it's like a champagne -y, silver white cream color and like the marble is more like a a tan kind of color um, I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel like with dresses like this, they have to be oversized to look good. Like, cause it's clinging to my tummy area, it's not a vibe. The material does have a bit of stretch. I can't even pick it up because it's so shiny. The material does have stretch though. Like, you know, just a little bit of stretch. So it's not like proper rigid, but I don't particularly like the neckline either. I feel like with these dresses, it's so hard to get bright. Um, because a lot of the time it's a material that doesn't stretch that much so yeah so i don't particularly like it i feel like it makes me look um boxy like quite square because of the back as well and because it's not like cinching in on my waist or anything it does have a really big slit as well all up the side and the color just doesn't look right on my skin tone and i don't like it but it might work for some of you okay this is the next dress looking real little house on the prairie you know what i mean it's also got this really annoying thing on it that plt does with a, like with some stuff um i might cut this off because i might actually keep this i think it's a vibe give me a bite it's a bite i'm gonna cut this off because i'm gonna keep it so it's very big and oversized as you can see it's like huge and um, it has this elastic off very big as well which i like because it's not too tight or restricting off the shoulder look i guess you could like wear it any kind of way you want to but i probably should wear it off my shoulders like this arms are really big they have a little cuff down here it just um buttons all the way down to the bottom and there is like a little frill on the bottom if you can see it goes to me like mid calf so it's pretty long. I'm gonna put a belt on it to see, cause I wouldn't wear it like this. I'd wear it with a belt. So I'm gonna put a belt on. I like this. It's a vibe. It's still giving me milkmaid, but I kind of like that. Like for the summer, I feel like you can get away with milkmaid vibes. It's so pretty. I love it. The material is a little bit see-through. I'm not gonna lie to you. Just cause it's kind of like that cheesecloth material. If you can see close up, 
you can kind of see the material that it is here. This is also great for summer because it's so flowy and like airy and free. You're not gonna be too hot in it, which I can't say the same about the next thing because it's a denim dress. <laughs> this is very cute. So this is a little denim dress from ASOS. You know what I love? These aren't buttons. It's a popper. I love a popper because like it just gets you places so much quicker when you wear acrylic nails like me poppers are your friend buttons or not so the length is really good I love the little short sleeves it is the kind of denim that is very rigid it doesn't have stretch at all so although it looks kind of cute I will probably get it a size up to wear comfortably like I'm comfy right now and stuff and it's cinching me like on the the waist it's like nipping me in and it's not too, too tight around my bum or like my tummy, but if I wanted to be like really comfy in it, I'll probably get a size up. So this is a 24, so I'll probably get a 26 if I wanted to be a bit more comfy. If you want to be more comfy, I will probably size up. If you don't mind it being a little tight and cute, get your normal size. Yeah, it's just really great material. It feels really good. It's, it's quite, it's not too, too thick of a denim, but it's definitely not a thin denim. In the height of summer, you might be a little bit warm in this. Um, especially as a bigger girl but it's kind of a look I can just see this like on a summer evening at the pub <laughs> if they ever reopen at a barbecue you know what I mean it's just giving me vibes I like it a lot all right this with a pair of converse gorgeous this is the length on the back and as well if you look on the back you can see all the details in the denim as well love it Super cute. I feel like it's really hard as a plus size girl to find denim dresses that like fit well and just are nice. So I really, really like this. Okay, this is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot get over this. The colors, the print, how it fits, it is beautiful. So this is by a brand called Glamorous and it's sold, I think it's sold their curve range. It's sold exclusively on ASOS. So let me talk you through it nice salmon pink dress with oranges like blood oranges all over it as you can see so pretty and it's a wrap over dress so basically it has like a hidden button right here and then there's another button here that you attach and then obviously it has this little tie waist that you can do up three quarter sleeves right here it's like a little puff sleeve and the skirt is like ruffled like tears oh my god it's so gorgeous um, it's hitting me like mid calf. This is not necessarily something I would usually wear. It's very girly, very like, it's giving me 50s vibes. Like if you put a petticoat under this, it would like flare out. But I love it. Like this is just quintessential, like summer. Oh, I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. And you guys know this isn't really my style, but I feel like my style shape shifts. Like when I'm feeling real classy and girly, like this is a vibe. I look like someone's mum. I look like someone's rich mum. I need like, um, like a little, what's it called? I need a little basket with like flowers that I went out and picked on my walk. Like, you know what all the girls on Instagram right now, their aesthetic is like going on walks in their summer dresses and with their flowers and shit and fucking, this is that vibe, but I'm living for it. I love it. I don't want to take it off, okay? I want to spin around like this forever. I hope you can't see my knickers. <laughs> So next is this shirt dress. Well, they're calling it a dress. It's more like a shirt on me from Collusion. I love the color. This stone color is so pretty. So it's basically just like a dress shirt, like a men's dress shirt, but obviously really oversized. Um, I think they do this in white as well because I was browsing the website today and I saw it in white. I really love the boxy fit of it. So I got this in a 24. And if you look at it, like the arms are really big. The cut of it as well, it goes up on the thigh. I love that cut. That cut is just so beautiful, especially on like thicker thighs because it really gives you a bit of shape. When it's all one length all the way around, it really makes you look a bit stumpy. Um, but this lovely higher up cut, I don't know what it's called, but I live for it. I've just put some cycling shorts under it so it's not too, too short. These are actually from Primark. If you watch my last Primark haul, which was months ago now, um, when me and my cousin went shopping, I bought them there. So it just buttons up the front, has one big pocket here, and there is buttons on the cuffs too. 
I do really like this. Like this is such cool girl vibes. I can see this with like some black sunglasses with my hair slicked up like this with a pair of really cool trainers. This is very cute. The back is quite long as well. So it definitely does cover bum, but you might want to wear cycling shorts under it because it is kind of short. I think it's cute. I think it's a vibe. You could also definitely wear a belt with this. I think I'd be tempted to just wear it like this. I think that's the whole vibe of it, just being oversized and comfy and chic. Whilst we're on the vibe of cycling shorts and the stuff, there is this. I do not like this one tiny eensy weensy bit. This is supposed to be a t-shirt dress. Look how short it is. It literally just looks like a big t-shirt. And the cut of the t-shirt isn't even good. Like if you want to be an oversized t-shirt dress, you need to be real boxy, big arms, like big sleeves, like at least like hitting me on the thighs. This don't even cover my nunny, mate. But the, what is the brand? I can't read upside down. Another reason, that's what it's called. Um, and it has this like faded out flame on it. I don't like it, I want to take it off now. I'm not gonna lie, this feels like absolute hell on earth. Oh my God, I'm so confused. Are they sure this is my size? Cause I'm getting a bit confused. Nah, this ain't all right, hon. This ain't all right, hon. What's going on? Why are you trying to cut into my food I just ate an hour ago? Oh my God, okay. So like, I think this dress is supposed to like, go down further and like swoosh up the thigh but it's what it's arrived and someone's tied a really tight knot here so it won't like go down um this would have been cute if it didn't come faulty um but it's just a zip up the back it's like black with flowers yada 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 i don't care to give it the time of day because you're actually trying to injure me it hurts my intestines hurt. This makes me annoyed because this had potential, but you wanted to come and do stupidness. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, this is super cute. So this is just a little like baby blue, pastel blue, little summer dress. So the material of it is kind of like that cheesecloth again, has some cute little ruffles here. I've forgotten the name of the brand of this. It's not ASOS, but it is sold on ASOS. I think it was kind of expensive too. It was like 45 pounds. It is cute. <laughs> so it has lining underneath because obviously it's like that cheesecloth material. There's a little ruffle on the bottom, little ruffles all around here, a little tie up detail here, the little sleeves, cap sleeves. It does zip up the back, but the whole back is like elastic, that material all across here. I just think this is so cute. It reminds me of like a little summer dress that you wear in school, like but a pimped out bougie adult version of that. So girly, I can see this again with a straw handbag and some cute little sandals, flower picking, you know, just girly things. Milk maiden vibes, you know what I mean? I like it, it is cute. It is a little bit short, like I keep pulling it down, but I think I could live with it. I could get away with it because it's cute. All right, we have one more, only one more. Let's do it. So this is the last dress. This is by a brand called Noisy May, again, bought on ASOS. And this is giving me Club Tropicana drinks are free. You know what I mean? It's this like shirt dress with like this crazy like 80s art, bright pop print me in 2013 would fucking love this when i was in my vintage phase like this looks very like vintage-ish i love the material so it's like a soft cotton but it is stretchy but you can't tell I before i put it on i had no clue that it had stretch in it and it does have quite a bit of stretch so i like that it has a pocket here obviously like big oversized arms the lapels buttons all the way down it's hitting me like mid thigh Pretty good length. I don't think I would need to wear like shorts under it or anything. This would look cute with or without a belt. I'm gonna show you the print close up. So it's just like this abnormal print with like pink and blue and peach. Yeah, I really do like it. It's a bit like definitely giving me like tropical shirt vibes. I do really love it. And this was the last one I had to show you. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope it was helpful. I hope you saw some things you liked. Let me know what your favorite was 
down below. All the links for everything will be down below as always with the sizes that I wore. Also, if you wanna download Shop Tagger, I'm gonna leave the link in my description down there. And I will see you very, very soon with a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye guys.